Our dear brother Sundari has chosen one verse to read today. From Vilak Kushmanjahi. Yes. Number 87. I tried to speak loud, but please interrupt me when I become too quiet or too fast. And please feel inspired to interrupt me for sharing something. O oh, dear, grave, calm girl, when will I see your great ceremonial bathing as you are being crowned? as a queen of Vrindavan by Purnamasi's personal arrangement. Then there is a great festival of love with dancing, singing of auspicious songs and playing of Venus and other instruments while you are being bathed with so many jugs of pure, fragrant water. O oh, dear brave calm girl when will I see your great ceremonial bathing as you are being crowned as the Queen of Vrindavan by Purnamasi's personal arrangement. Then there is a great festival of love with dancing, singing of auspicious songs and playing of Venus and other instruments while you are being bathed with so many jugs of pure, fragrant water. Mm. Okay, again. Um, again. Uh, so. Explanations. In the previous verse, Shiragunat relished the flavors of devotional service by helping Shyama Sundara to appease Swamini's man and to meet her again. In this verse, he wants to see Swamini as the Empress of Vrindavan. Can I ask something? He has written he wants to see Swamini. Is it? that sometimes he has a wish, a special wish, and sometimes it's just coming, the vision. So here... Who has in, the wish? Padma or...? Mm, yeah, in the previous verse, Sri Raghunath relished the flavors of devotional service by helping Shyama Sundara to appease Swamini's man 
and to meet her again. In this verse, he wants to see Swamini as the Empress of Vrindavan. With a highly auspicious ceremony involving singing, dancing, and instrumental music. She was crowned as the Empress. Therefore, this coronation ceremony is not a secret. You know the answer, Tarwan? Again, the text again. Um, to the center, um, wants, um, the embers of if sometime he has a special vision and the sound is very bad. Yes. Sound is very bad. Yeah. <laughs> From our side, from both sides. So I would give you a Yeah, we all answer would be that. So the question is why is he, he is coming in his vision and coming and out of his vision? Sometimes he is in the vision and sometimes there are no vision. This is actually only for the benefit of the Sadakas. Actually, Raghunath Swami is a perfect and eternal, eternally liberated soul. So actually he is always in in this uh, in this beautiful, perfect vision, but to to give an example and to inspire the uh, class, he writes this down. Tarunji, the sound is very bad. Yes. We cannot hear you. I don't know. For me, I is it you? Hear you. Yes, you, okay. but also okay. other I side. I know, but also other side. Ah, you side. know, okay, One okay. Second. You know, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I have to change something. <laughs> so is it better now? Better now? Uh, this, this is whole Zoom problem. This is whole Zoom problem. Try again. Mobile device and select. No. 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 Better. No. Maybe it's not up to you. It's not my problem. No. I think it's oh. okay. all Zoom. All Zoom is actually. So should we try. We just go out and come back. We try. We just go out and come back. Uh, the sound is really very bad.
Make somebody yeah. call host. Uh, but Goranga, is we it, can hear you. Is it better now? Yeah. Yes, now, now it's, it's better. better right? Okay, yeah. okay, now it's better. Good. So the question, the question was that what is this uh, coming in and out of visions of Raghunath Swami? So I may repeat what Baba is sending in my heart that actually Raghunath Goswami, he is an eternally perfected soul. He is eternally liberated. He is always in the kingdom of Ras and always in the kingdom of Mahabhav. But to educate Asadakas, he is writing mm -hmm. down this bouquet of lamentations. Actually, he has nothing to lament for, but for educating us and for giving an example for us, he is actually writing down these wonderful inspirations so that we can repeat his Mahavani, his beautiful words. He has, he is in constant uh, meeting with Radhika and in some constant separation with Radhika. But mostly when he says, when Baba is saying that Raghunath Askusami now lost this vision, it is also purely also for our education and for our inspiration. And that he is actually the perfect example of a sadaka. Please correct me if I say something wrong, please. <laughs> Jainanda Maharaj. <laughs> you are right. <coughs> and uh, so he's acting like ordinary sadaka. And so, as you mentioned, uh, he behave uh, how aspirant should be great, great, uh, great for, uh, which we could uh, spooky or we could have a vision, especially. Uh, so today is rather stammy. So. Uh, sometimes, or actually, always, Sri Raghunata Das Goswami uh, want to see always Radhika's glory. <laughs> so, especially this this special uh, uh, coronation, like a crown. <coughs> so, this thing he want to see. <laughs> Like today, we want to see Shrimati Radhika's beauty and uh, his uh, supremacy mm -hmm. or her elegance. Mm -hmm. So the similarly, Raghunath Das, someone else, he wants to see mm -hmm. this vision. Mm -hmm. That's I feel. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Tarun Baba. Thank you, Maharaj. I have to thank you. I'm here to learn from the senior devotees, please. Oh, no, no, no. I, I want to run from you. <laughs> then you are in trouble. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so, so nice. Wonderful verse. In this verse, he wants to see Swamini as the Empress of Vrindavan with a highly auspicious ceremony involving singing, dancing, and instrumental music, she was crowned as the Empress. Therefore, this coronation ceremony is not a secret. All the goddesses are there as well as King Nanda, King Vishabhanu, the Queens Yashoda and Kirtida, as well as all the Gopas and Gopis. Why is Krishna not crowned here but Radha? Hey, dear, you are very grave, and Krishna is very whimsical. That is well known. 
therefore you are bath instead of Krishna. In the Padma Purana, Patala Kanda, it is stated that Krishna, being pleased with the matchless sweetness of Sri Rata's attributes, made her the queen of Vrindavan. Why they can do it so public? <laughs> because it's Krishna's desire. <laughs> you know, sometimes Rava want to see and uh, Beloved glory, mm. beloved beauty, and so Krishna desire to do this, and also parents also desire, mm. because Krishna is so naughty, <laughs> you know, sometimes Krishna steal butter, Krishna steal gopi's cross, <laughs> sometimes Krishna telling lie, so Many people in Buraja thinking, oh, this is Gopara, <laughs> it's, it's so naughty. And then Nanda Baba thinking, oh, maybe we can, I cannot, uh, you know, Krishna may not be king of this Buraja. Mm. But Radhika <laughs> is so one pointed, so kind, chaste, have all good qualities. Mm. So, Everyone was thinking, oh, this queen should be our, you know, our Radhika. Mm -hmm. That is uh, their, their <laughs> feeling like this. <laughs> yes. It's, it's also the wish of Krishna. The glories have to be actually spread in whole Raja, everywhere. As we see late in, in, in later verses, he is actually getting the constable, and then he personally is speaking out loud. She is the queen. So this is wish very, very clear. Although elsewhere the goddess of fortune, fortune reigns, reigns, right? Right, right. reigns. Krishna, being pleased with her, made Radha the queen of Vrindavan. Answer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he wants to also make sure that everyone knows she is higher than Lakshmi. Wow. Mm. She is Prema Lakshmi. <laughs> so, um, also, in the Matsya Purana, the coronation of Sri Rata is indicated with the words Rata Vrindavane Vane, following Srila Rupa Goswami who was greatly absorbed in this pastime and described it in his one-act play, Dana Keli Kamudi, Kamudi, his Radastakam in the verse Atula, Atula Mahasi Vrindaranya Rad and in his 108 names of Radhika, named Prema, Suda, Satrakya, 
the nectar sacrifice of love. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami briefly described it in his Mukta Charitra play and in his Raja Vilasa Stava. And later Srila Rupa Goswami, not being fully satisfied yet, ordered Sri Jiva Goswami to write a big poetry book about it named Madhava Mahotsava. In this book it is described that Sri Krishna had ordered Vrinda Devi, the goddess of Vrindavan forest, to arrange for the coronation to be performed in front of all the inhabitants of Raj. Vrinda became a voice in the sky that ordered Purnamasi Devi, the goddess of Krishna's mystic illusion, Yoga Maya, to make all the arrangements and to announce this happy new to all the people of Raj, headed by Nanda Maharaj. Now one verse from Madhava Mahotsava is coming. O Queen of Yogis Purnamasi, quickly bath this Sri Rata, who is the Chandra Lakshmi, the lunar goddess of beauty, arising from the ocean of matchless attributes in the universally Christ Sri Vrindavan on a very beautiful jewel studded golden throne. The stream of luster of Sri Radha's Abhishek will bring a matchless treasure of beauty to Vrindavan, to Gukula, and to the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> Just as the moonlight comes from the moon. Hi, <laughs> Srinar, uh, can you open the light? Srinar, can you put the light? Sorry, yeah. Light, light. <laughs> The stream <laughs> The stream of luster of Shirata's Abhishek will bring a matchless treasure of beauty to Vrindavan, to Gukula, and to the whole world, just as the moonlight comes from the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Because 
when the sanctifying grace has become the object of worship, love will be given to the whole world. This is amazing, Lord. Yes. It is Mahaprabhu, is like his descent is uh, foreseen here. Because when he says here, this is Madhava Mahatsava, actually, Jiva Goswami is speaking. When the sanctifying grace has become the object of worship, like Shimati Radhika has come down in Goranga or as Gorangi, and she is the object of worship, then love, this love, this prema, will be given to the whole world. That was never happened before. Yes. But Krishna wants to see Shimati Radhika glorified and he comes as Doranga to glorify the yes. love of Dorangi and to give it to the whole world. What? Beautiful. Wow. So this mentioned uh, which is the supreme object to, to be worshipped to mm -hmm. get to highest love. Mm -hmm. So this Jiva Goswami is uh, or actually Baba translated actually to worship Sri Radha is highest worship. Like Shiva is saying among the worship, uh, Vishnu's worship is uh, highest, but the more highest worship is Arada. Mm. So that is Sri, Sri Madhiradharani. So this is Suniti Didi described so beautifully. Mm. This uh, directly or indirectly mentioned. Mm. Goranga Mahaprabhu, Masi. Guru Dev used to say, Unna to Jwarasa. Tarun Baba also explained the glory of Sri Madhiradharani to dashes, Manjari Babas. So, this is, so, this also only. Say, we could say, Radha Dash could understand more in this glory of Sri Radha. That's our feeling. Radha Radha, is it possible that we have you four wonderful people and Gurudev in the same screen, that both you and Gurudev is focused? Is this possible? Usually we are four or five in the focus, but maybe you can bring also Gurudev in the focus. I would love that. Sorry. Is it possible? Yeah. Can we try, we, but it's, we are in a different space than Gurudev right now. Can we bring Gurudev and us? And Both at the same time. Pin. The pin? Yes. Pin, pin that there. Oh. Oh. Good day, so good day. Yes, 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 because when the sanctifying grace has become the object of worship, love will be given to the whole world. You see, the beauty is there. No, 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 no,
the point has to be fixed. What is the goal? My Samni should be a goal. Uh, Radhika is goal. It will go to the whole world. If the goal deviates, then it blocks. Because Guru is also important, but he is a dasi of Radhika. He is not a goal. When we make the Guru goal, then Radhika goes. Why? Then we are missing the goal. Read same line again. Two line, because, read again. Because when the sanctifying grace has become the object, object. of worship. Object of worship. Any mistake happen in object, confusion will start. The person will confuse and the preacher will confuse. How merciful is Baba? You can see that. Are there a pani dena? Adone wala. Read it, read it, please. Because when the sanctifying grace has become the object of worship, love will be given to the whole world. Yeah. Sri Ram. <laughs> what do you want to add in this? <laughs> Nothing to add. Is a Rasika, Mahajan, who is in the Manjari, how he is telling this. Siddhadeha. Mm. This should be uh, written in the room uh, and meditate. Twenty four seven. Again, read this line. <laughs> because when the sanctifying grace has become the object of worship, Uh, yeah. Yes. Read nothing. Because when the sanctifying grace has become the object of worship, love will be given to the whole world. Then, in front of everyone, the ethereal voice requests the most shy girl, Radhika, to accept the royal bathing ceremony. Sri Radhika. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rati, don't hesitate <laughs> to act boldly in this. Gurudev, <laughs> he has so wonderfully said here that without this sanctifying grace, 
without the creeper of the lotus feet of Swamini, nothing is possible. Nothing, not at all. I was reading today also in Radharasa Sudanidi, without worshipping Radharani, we can do no, not one single step. This is all Radhika's Kripa, which is coming through Gurudev. This is so beautiful to remember. No, sorry, one thing I say you. Gurudev is a Dasti, not a goal. Yes, sure. <laughs> the moment it becomes goal, then Radhika is not there. Sure. Then mercy is stopped. Yes. This is 100%. the problem in, in out of Vrindavan. <laughs> this is not a problem in Vrindavan, but outside of Vrindavan, I see this is the problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to the sadhaka and who is preacher. Both had the problem. Guru can only bring to the goal, Gurudev, like you many times said. Dasi, Guru Dasi has no value. Yes. For the goal. Yes. When I see only Dasi, then I forget the goal. I recognize myself as a guru, then I not see myself dasi. Mm. Kaput. <laughs> and when I have a guru, very siddha pulse, and I forget to see the goal, also kaput. The Asi work is only this that she bring to the goal. This is the job of the Dasi. And she will help there also. I'll bring there. and bringing to show the right path to us, because we always take wrong path. <laughs> this is our nature, what to do? <laughs> <laughs> because we imagine from my bodily consciousness and false ego, that my easy to catch. But Guru not see like this. He see in his Siddha Deha to only to the Swami. No left, no right, no back. The eyes is only one pointer for the Swami. Why I love this book? Why I love this Vila Kusumanjali? Anandas Babaji write many books, but I am not ready to read other book because my Asthai Bhav is not there. And without Asthai Bhav, I cannot see what he writes. <laughs> I remember when I was very young, one time I say, can I read Govinda Leela Myth? Then he say, you cannot touch this book. 
when this mercy come to me, why he said not to touch? Because a sthai bhav is not there. Ah, what you are going to see in Govind Lelamrita, in your bodily consciousness, you will all do mistakes. Now I understand. By reading the Vilav Kusumanjali and Radhara Sudhanaji of Baba. Read. Oh, Rati, don't hesitate to act boldly in this. You will be the destroyer of unlimited misery. It is, after all, also seen that even the most shy maidens give, give up their shyness when they accept a husband. When Shirata and, and her girlfriends repeatedly drink the honey-like message of this Israel voice through the cups of their ears, they embrace each other. <laughs> When Shirata and her girlfriends repeatedly drink the honey-like message of this ethereal voice through the cups of their ears, they embrace each other. All the people of Archa Mandala make ecstatic noises and the playing of many kinds of musical instruments become audible. Kundalata announces this blissful We got kicked out for a moment, Lord I am here. <laughs> My room is a workshop now. Some noise was coming, so I closed my mic. But I can not listening anything. Your voice also not coming. Our voice is not coming clear. Now coming. 
Okay. Read, then I the, something then I will share. The Adi Vasa ceremony, a ceremony held one day before an auspicious festival, is itself a great occasion with different kind of auspicious dances, songs, and instrumental music. On the day of the Abhishek, all moving and non-moving creatures of Raj are enchanted by Sri Radhika's wonderful beauty as she approaches the bathing platform. As Sri Radhika steps on the jeweled bathing platform, Yamuna oh, Ekanangsa Devi Krishna's sister from the jail in Mathura, eight-armed Durga, Rudrani, it's poverty, Indrani, Sachi, all the goddesses come there in human forms. In human forms. When Sri Rata steps on the wonderful jewel throne, the luster of her form illuminates the whole of Vrindavan. Then, on the order of Purnamasi, who had come there with Raja's sylvan goddesses, Manasiganga, Yamuna, Saraswati, and other sacred waters appear in scented, jeweled jugs to shower Radharani along with ghee, milk, and yogurt. Mm. All the Sakis chant Jaya Jaya while different songs are sung and dances are performed. After the bathing, the Sakis dress Srimati in an appropriate royal dress. Ekanangsa touches Shyama Sundara's forehead, puts Shirata's Rajatik. Raja Tika, royal emblem, on it, and exclaims, Jai Vrindavaneshwari. Along with the sound of many instruments, the shouting of Jai, Jai, arises. The devas showers flowers and the sakis blow conscious and makes uludvani. All the goddesses come forward with presents. Savitri, Lord Brahma's wife, gives Rata a lotus garland. Indra's wife, Sachi Devi, presents a golden throne. 
Povera's wife, Pretty, a golden ornament. Varuna's wife, Gauri, a golden scepter. Vayu's wife, Shiva, a white whisk. Agni's wife, Svaha, a fine zari. And Dumana, Dumana, the wife of Yamarat, a jeweled mirror, mirror, while the gods in heaven played on dubi drums. After offering the proper respect to the different attendant superiors, she takes leave of them. Now a new Rasika Leela will be played. The Sakis will divide the positions of servants and friends in Queen Radha's kingdom. Shyama Sundara eagerly desires the service of Sri Vrindavaneshwari. So he submits his wish to Prime Minister Lalita. <laughs> they are making now uh, a government. <laughs> <laughs> they are playing government. Now the official, uh, the official part is it's over. Huh? Uh, uh, um, it's uh, over and now some, some posts are <laughs> done. In great ecstasy, Lalita told Shri Krishna, Listen to my words, O Vanamali. Which service will you take? Tell me. The Sakis have already chosen the service they liked. But I cannot find any service that I can write your name on. <laughs> there you go. Hearing One this. thing I want to say. Yes. What line I said, read again that and after two lines. Um, this uh, the sanctifying grace. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> because when the sanctifying grace has become the object of worship, love will be given to the whole world. Second. No. Because when the sanctifying grace has become the object of worship, love will be giving, given to the whole world. Second line. After that. Ah. Then in front of everyone. The ethereal voice requests the most shy girl, Radhika, to accept the royal bathing ceremony. <laughs> After. O oh, Rati, don't hesitate to act boldly in this. You will be the destroyer 
of unlimited misery. It is, mm. after all, also seen that even the most shy maidens give up their shyness when they accept the husband. You see this? This shy <laughs> madam. <laughs> This two side matter, Rupa and Rati. Oh. Mm -hmm. As Thai vow, when you have, you will see your subject. You have nothing to relate with other subject. That's a As Thai vow. You need your goal. And you are asked time how to see. Other Devi, de, de, Devta, what I will do with them? Mm. Why to think on that? You see, all is checking yourself where your mind goes, what you are searching. That is a Thai vow. Right, Tarun Baba? Tarun Baba? Yes, Kovadev. This is a Thai vow. Your East Dev and two maiden. Yes. And but this will, but Gurudev, only we can understand because you say us these things. You lead us in the right direction. That is the, the only thing that I am Other aspiring thing, what for. Is my use? Yes. Other thing, not eat. Yes. And when she accept, uh, but Abhishek. Radhe, I have to go to temple. I cannot take rest after Prashadam. Mm. I wake up one thirty, please. And they have program do going on. And some children, uh, Leela, and then uh, Brisohan, Raja, please, they come, all Brajwasi, and there are big festival going on in the temple. I have to go to yeah. show myself, please. Thank you for your mercy, Radha. I don't know how to leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Radha, Radha, Govade. Thank you so much. Thank you, my dear. Radhe Radhe Govadev. Radhe. Radhe. We have to try to find out how to fix myself. Bless me that I can fix myself. So, leave it aside, huh? So, Nidhi? Yes? Can you continue? Or is it now over? No, no it's, we, continue. we continue. Very nice. Please. In great ecstasy, Lalita told Shri Krishna, Listen to my words, O Vanamali. Which service will you take? Tell me. The Sakis have already chosen the service they liked, but I cannot find any service that I can write your name on. <laughs> Hearing this, 
Banoyari, forest dweller. Krishna said, I have a very important service. I will become the kingdom's constable and I will wander around announcing the queen's victory. <laughs> Jai Ho. <laughs> On Minister Lalita's order, Shyam, who wants a job of constable, writes a letter of application to the queen. <laughs> That Glo is a letter now. Yeah. Ah. Glory to you, whose foot nails are more beautiful than those of hundreds of goddesses of fortune. Glory to the lotus feet of the great ocean of glory. Glory to the crown jewel of clever girls, the world enchanting girl who is served by hosts of rulers. Glory to the Empress of Sri Vrindavan the abode of great power. Glory to she who defeats millions of cupids and who is the very life of her friends. I am standing before you with folded hands. Please accept me at your side as your eternal servant. Give me the job of royal constable. Heed my humble words. And don't kick me away. Every day and night, I will announce your glories from Kunja to Kunja. And if any thief may enter your town, I will make sure he will fail in his purpose. I will always continue my service, maintaining your authority and singing your names. Jaya Jaya Rata Rinda Vipinadisha Queen of Vrindavan. Hmm. So I have a question. Who is the thief? <laughs> the drop is still open, ma. Huh? <laughs> 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 Anyone has any idea who could be the thief that Krishna wants to punish? <laughs> Hare 
by the mercy <laughs> of the queen and with the help of the Sakis, Shyam gets the job of the constable and he dresses and ornaments himself accordingly. The enchanting constable announces to all the moving and non-moving creatures of Vrindavan, O oh, animals, birds, cuckoos, bees, trees, wines, sky, and wind of Vrindavan, listen. From today on, the daughter of King Vrishabhanu, Shishi Radharani, is the queen of Vrindavan. <laughs> Hearing this sweet announcement of their enchanting constable and seeing his ecstatic condition, all the creatures of Vrindavan whose hearts are naturally given to Shirata, fill the sky with their ecstatic warbling. Naturally given. <laughs> His hearts are naturally given to Shirata. This is actually, this is what, this is so nice, what actually is naturally given to, to, to Radha. This is what, what Rupa Goswami is saying. This is what actually the Rakatmika, the Rakatmika Bhaktas, the eternally perfected, which, which we have to follow. This, they have this naturally, and like Gurudev always says, we have to follow them. This natural love, in, on, and what is astonishing, when we hear this, when I hear this, all creatures, this is so fantastic. You're even the animals, the trees, the wind, wind is many times being praised. So this is, we are Raganuka and we follow them. This is so beautiful. Thank you. Then after announcing the rain, Rain, rain of Vrindavan's Empress, the enchanting constable tells her how ecstatic all the creatures of Vrindavan were to hear it. After this, the prankish constable Krishna secretly hides his flute in Lalita's veil and goes to the queen to complain that his flute was stolen. <laughs> Vishaka says, very good. That destroyer of the housewife's chastity is gone. Good riddance. Now the housewife's can sleep in peace. But grave Queen Radha says, No, Vishake, that is not proper. This kingdom will perish if it gets the reputation that thefts, theft is an accepted thing here. Prime Minister Lalita chastises the constable and demands his resignation, saying, How can this constable protect other people's property when he cannot even keep his own things together? <laughs> It would be good for the kingdom if he resigned. <laughs> then the constable submits to Maharani's feet. 
One of the royal executive has stolen the flute. What can a law rank constable do against that? Hearing this, Prime Minister Lalita angrily orders everyone open their veils and show to the constable that you don't have the flute. This falsely suspicious high official deserves a severe punishment for uttering false accusa accusations if the flute is not found on anyone. <laughs> Everyone follows the Prime Minister's order and when finally Lalita <coughs> opens her veil, her own veil, lo and behold, the flute falls out. Everyone is stunned. Then the constable says, O oh queen, such a thief minister could resign. Otherwise, the kingdom will suffer tremendously. Who can describe Lalita's rage at that time? <laughs> 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 she says you yourself have hidden the flute in my clothes and then you want to the queen you went to the queen to complain i swear on the queen's feet this is your doing do you dare to deny it by taking an oat touching the queen's lotus feet. The constable's hands shiver of ecstasy when they touch Radharani's feet. His eyes are filled with tears and his body is studded with ghost bimbles. Although Krishna is the very form of transcendental bliss, he is enchanted by rasa and his voice chokes out of ecstatic in in inertia. Mm -hmm. inertia. 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 Ah. Immobility. Ah, okay. Cannot move. <laughs> <laughs> Then Lalita says, Look, Maharani, the personification of religion is touching your feet. Why would any lies come? Why would any lies come from his mouth? Hmm. Seeing her lover trembling, Rai laughed and held him, making him her friend. With faltering voice, she said, O Nilamani, blue jewel, now listen. I will tell you what's on my mind. You fulfill. You fulfilled your desire. I ah, yeah. You fulfilled your desire stimmt, yeah. by making me the queen. O Muradi. Now my desire will be fulfilled. Give up this dress and wear your own dress. Sit on the throne. I am your maidservant. Then Brinda Devi makes a royal dress for our hero 
then Rasika Shekara Krishna. And, and Rasika Shekara Krishna ascends the jeweled throne sitting on Kishori Mani's left side. The Sakis are enchanting Jaya, are chanting Jaya, Jaya, and make the Ulu sounds with their thank you of ecstasy while the kinkaris are fanning Rata and Krishna. Oh my goodness, good, oh my goodness, their two forms are matchless, matchless abodes of Rasa. Oh my goodness, their two forms are matchless, matchless abodes of Rasa. Can, you want to say Can someone say something about this? Their two forms are matchless, matchless abodes of Rasa. They are very beautiful together. Mm. And they are undescribable. And they make everyone more happy together. Especially the kinkaris. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe. If I can add something. We are waiting. Because, <laughs> because this Madhurya rasa between Radha and Krishna is Adiras. Is the beginning and the center point from Guloka and all rasas are spreading from this Madhurya rasa. And their embrace, their love, when they are each exchange their love in this sweet mood of Madhurya rasa, actually is the source of all rasas, which is going through spiritual world, but also in perverted mood, in other parts of the world, middle and material world. So when they are together, this is matchless abode of Rasa, the seat, the throne, the place where they are together in embrace. This is the source of everything. Their love is the source of everything. And their love is the source of all relationship. And as I understand and feel, this is really matchless. And we got this matchless opportunity for matchless mercy by the matchless person, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Jai Ho! So, this is Kripa. True love and because of love. Beautiful. Beautiful. Also, when they are together, Radha and Krishna on the throne, it is said that when they are together, each, each will start to make the other more beautiful. So it's going like Gurudev says, ping pong in the material world, it's also ping pong in the spiritual world. When Radha and Krishna are sitting next to each other. The one is getting more beautiful because the other one is there, and the other one is getting more beautiful because the other one is there. So it's going up and up and up and up. It's this is also matchless. We cannot imagine. And this is Anurag. Always fresh, always new, and they are in competition. 
<laughs> transcendent loving competition. Yes, and never ending this exchange of love. So this is the reason why other rasas also exchange different relationship, loving relationship, but always fresh, always fresh, because the Adiras, beginning of all rasa, is in same activity of exchanging ever fresh love between each other. So to, and to properly, like Gurudev is saying, to properly feel it and to have own position, it's necessary to have Stai Bhav. Because we can see here from this uh, verse, in the beginning, all Rajavasis was including. Because Krishna wanted to glorify Radhika in front of everyone. But this is also his way, tricky way, how he is doing Parakya Bhava. Sometimes Parakya Bhava is an alone place. But sometimes Parakya Bhava is present when everyone is <laughs> here. Everyone is looking at Radhika. And this word, dire, is very, very nice and deep word. Because explaining that Radhika has to remove her natural shyness. And she has to be a little bit bold to take this position to be worshipped by this prankster who is always making some tricks, jokes, you know, and he wanted actually that in front of everyone, he is enjoying the bath of Radhika because he has special eyes to look on special parts of her beloved when everyone is making Abhishek. This is a general for all Rajavasis, and Purnamasi is great authority for that, and everyone <laughs> has to listen to her. <laughs> but later on, in the commentary, Baba is saying, they, with Gopi Jana Valaba, is starting. <laughs> Gopi Janava, where the gopis and manjaris are present, and the pastime is more direct, more intimate, and all the time, all the Lalita is main minister, manjaris are witnessing this and doing the seva of fanning or whatever doing, and they are giggling also. So this is the position of Manjaris. To, to see this beautiful Gopi, Jana, Valaba, or Radha, Valaba. So this is, I think, example of this Krishna mantra. And then slowly, they are coming in the mood of isolation. <laughs> In the beginning, it was public, then a little bit closer association. Then they are preparing each other for matchless abode of rasa. <laughs> so I wanted to say that. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. I, Thank you. I also have one thing. <laughs> I had one, uh, while you were speaking, I was uh, having another inspiration. I thought, yes, uh, Swamini says, first I feel, feel your desire. You wanted to see me the queen. Mm -hmm. You wanted to glorify me. It's like uh, when Krishna is also expressing himself. How can I, you know... Glorify Shrimati Radhika, her love is so unlimited, her love is higher than my love. And now her desire was that they come together, right? So I thought this is like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and that is unique. Because when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes, they are together. And when they are together, in the mood of glorifying the love of Shrimati Radhika, 
then it is happening what Baba is describing here, that all miseries of this world is stopped mm. and uh, we can go back. We can, you know, by mercy, we can come home to the lotus feet of the of Shrimati Radhika's service. That is also what came. Mm. 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 Nice. Thank you. Just to hear you see the, that there are two homes are much less, much less abodes of Rasa. I was meditating like a yoga pit, mm. like a meeting place. Mm. So Manjari tried to meet, I, I tried to arrange mm. Radha and Moha together. Mm. So this is, so, and then they two together, they're so beautiful, they're so much less, so blissful for Manjari. Also Manjari has so much seva for them. That's kind of a meditation I thought. Mm -hmm. ja, 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 ja. And next also, verse is oh sorry. No 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 next. problem. Also what 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 came to what came was also that uh what is very very nice feeling and emotional that actually Krishna enjoys this to make Radhika a little uncomfortable that she is going a little bit into not full man but she, he wants that she will be bold because that is not at all Radhika's nature to be now the queen of Vrindavan. So Krishna enjoys that mood, this beginning of man very, very much. So this is also a little bit hidden in this pastime that he is actually, we cannot really say provoking, but it is like provoking Radhika and, and she also enjoys this mood very, very much. So they give each other a stage to, to enhance both of their feelings. So Krishna loves this beginning of man and actually honestly radhika also <laughs> because after man will be pranay <laughs> yeah like a mid like a, yeah <laughs> jananda ji said this matchless abode and the second words down is a half in a golden luster fresh lightning strike and half is a fresh monsoon cloud so half it's said they both halves are showering drops of rasa so they are embraced half they are embraced and he's now the the proof is his face meets her face and his eyes meet her eyes <laughs> so they are shining in one place in their embrace <laughs> The moon and the moon. <laughs> so we'll read again this half is a golden luster shining like a fresh lightning strike and half is a fresh monsoon cloud showering drops of rasa his face meets her face his eyes meets her eyes the moon and the moon and the lotus mm -hmm. and the moon 
and the lotus and the lotus are thus shining in one place. Two moons and two lotus. Ah, so, yeah. They are both. Um, yeah. <laughs> They are most luscious, each wearing one flower garland around the neck. Their matchless bodies are leaning against each other. Fair face Radhika desires Shyam as the bumblebee, the lotus flower, the chakora bird, the moon and the female Chattakini bird, the monsoon cloud. Mm. The peacocks and peahens dance, and the parrots and sharikas sing while the bumblebees and their whips are singing. Wives, wives are singing flying from flower to flower. A steady lightning strike, Sri Radhika, plays on the lap of a fresh rain cloud, Krishna. How much rasa is showered by both these abodes of rasa. <laughs> Seeing their sweetness, all the sakis and manjaris surround them and say, Jai Ratishyam. <laughs> all these sakis shower flowers and say, Rata Rata Raman without stopping. In his vision, Shiragunath, in his Swarup of Tulasi Manjari, re relishes the flavors of this transcendental pastime. And when this vision leaves him, he anxiously prays to Swamini's lotus feet for another vision of this pastime. Shirasika Chandra Dasa Ji sings, Alas, when will that blessed day come? O grave Frati, this is the desire on my mind. I want to see your coronation festival. Auspicious instruments like the drum, the flute and the veena will be played and there will be enchanting dancing and singing. Purnamasi is personally engaged in filling up the jugs with pure scented water. With great love, she arranged everything for your bathing ceremony as the Queen of Vrindavan. When will I Make my life a success by witnessing this scene. This is the end of the verse 87. Jai Jai Shiva. Jai Jai. Thank you very much, Sajesh. Jai Jai. I think uh, Braja Sundari, she chose a very beautiful verse for today. Huh? Thank you so much. What a wonderful verse. So beautiful. Fitting the day exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
So we, we got opportunity also to receive few drops of this Abhishek yeah. <laughs> through the words of Acharyas, through the words of Baba. So this mm. is also Abhishek which we have to appreciate, which is Abhishek for our hearts, through our ears. Yeah. Yeah. This is the great mercy of Mahavani. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Also, the last sentence again pings us to the beginning of the class when, when the question was coming, what is this with the visions coming and going? So here again, Raghunath Goswami and Baba especially, this last sentence is for us. This is especially for us how to, how to do this. No? this he, one vision is leaving and another one is coming and the price for this is Lopa. So Baba wants us to have this Lopa that we can somehow go and, and have these visions too. This is not Raghunathas, he's not sitting there and thinking, oh my God, like, he's, this is for us, especially for the Sadakas. Mm. What a wonderful verse. Thank you so much again. So I Thank want to, you. I want to little add with Goranga, yes, you know, Goranga Sundra uh, I think yesterday Gurudev was saying to us, generally speaking, it is Abhishek in Vrindavan, only Brahman can do. Mm. He, he told us. But uh, in Mungaraj temple, uh, Gurudev open for everybody. Except, uh, you know, some lady, some kind of parian. She cannot do this, but uh, he is open for this. So, Goranga Sundara Prabhu saying, this Baba uh, uh, Anandas Baj Maharaj gave explanation of this Beijing ceremony. This gave us some, you know, drop of mercy <laughs> upon us. <laughs> this is also very, you know, Dashka Vaishnav's very kindness. This I feel it. Thank you very much. I think that we are so fortunate, maybe we cannot imagine how fortunate we are, that we have such a two, two beautiful Rasika sadhus like Gurudev and Ananta Das Babaji. They opened the door, which was even Mahaprabhu tried and Goswamis to open, but still it was closed especially for us, maybe Westerners. And we are so, so fortunate that we can bat in their words and also, like Jayanandaji said, uh, we can also bat Radhika directly. Or, although from classical point, ritualistic point, we don't have qualifications for that. So Gir Gurudev, open very broadly this opportunity for us. That is. So, uh, I have to leave, I'm sorry, uh, because uh, we are preparing program in two hours. We have program in Rijeka, so we Thank have to... Thank you. Thank you. Shower the nectar, Goranga, shower the nectar. <laughs> yes. yeah. Please, Adi, give, Adi. Us, give us your <laughs> blessings and mercy, you know. Yes. Now yes. cooking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we also will go to the temple and... Uh, Receive some more drops. Yeah. On. But we are together. We are together. And it's so nice in the same mood. Same seva to only one swami near. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. 
Thank you. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe.